right now, 19 minutes before 9 o'clock, and now on Bounce, something you better be thinking about because it is that time of year, and we're talking more good food here this morning, but a different, a little different it's than the cheesecake, cheesecake, right? Yeah, it's hard to follow cheesecake. So, uh, Joy Hill and Scott Lindsley here from Linwell Farms, and uh, you guys have got something going on here, and it's an important time of year for growing and for taking out of the garden, too, isn't it? So, tell us what we got going here. Well, this, this time of year, it's the end of summer, so this is what we've been growing all summer long. These right. plants are coming out. Um, so tomatoes, peppers, tomato. all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little leggy. There's only a few more getting pushed out, but mm -hmm. we still have a little bit mm -hmm. of them. Can I, I want to ask one quick question. Watermelons, how are they right now this time of year? They're, finishing. We've, it's yeah. finished. All right, we're up and out of those and everything. <laughs> all right, so we're taking this out of our garden right now, but we want to replace it with something. Yep. Absolutely. We're so we're going to go with more of a hearty leafy vegetable. So we have collards, broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, things that are much hardier. And then, of course, from seed, we have some radish and different lettuces and different greens, spinach, that kind of thing. So how well does broccoli grow here in the south? I mean, is, is our, can we really have a substantial garden with these? Absolutely. This is, this is cooler weather stuff, so it won't grow in the summer. It's too hot. Oh, and so, yeah. So all of these greens are sort of in the same family, and so you put them in now, they're cold weather plants, they'll, they'll grow. When it gets cold, they'll actually grow a little bit dormant, but every day we have a, a warm day, it'll, they'll grow a little bit more. Uh, and so, so what's the best way to plant them? Is it, do you want to bring in your own soil, or can you just dig a hole in the regular dirt? Or, or tell us, how, what do I need to do to make sure this grows well? So basically what we have, we have a composting system. So everything that's coming out of our garden right mm -hmm. now, all the tomatoes and all that stuff, we're putting in our compost for next spring. So the compost that we have now is from our last season. So we'll be mixing some of that into the soil because you have to feed your soil. You can't just plant it in dirt mm -hmm. and expect them to grow well. You have to add some nutrition to it. All right, give me a time frame now when I need to be doing this temperature wise, day wise. What are we looking at here? These go in anywhere from about two weeks ago for the next week or so. These can go in. The days will start getting shorter and they mm. need to get in soon mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the end of August, we had really, really hot weather, so it was too early. These would have burnt up really? in those oh, okay. 90 degree days. Okay. Which is so. why well, we have them like this as opposed to the seeds. Now, seed, your parsley and cilantro, things like that, you want to start from seed because if you don't, you buy them as a small plant, they're going to try to bolt and just go to seed. So if you do those seeds, you can just spread those out on your soil and it'll just grow mounds and mounds of them. Just cut them back. Oh, this sounds really good. All right, I want everybody, you can come to Linwell uh, Farms and and purchase these plants, right? Uh, well, well, you can come and visit it. You're more than welcome to taste and We'll give you some. Help. Oh, all right. Where are, you located? Where, are the, where are you located? It's our small urban farm. It's in Noda. We're right there near the, the main district of Noda. All right. want everybody to know that. Go by and visit. Some great advice here. And this is... Well, I can smell those collard greens cooking. A little fat back in there. That's going to be oh, some yeah. good stuff, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we're loving it. Good stuff, guys. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And uh, now let's check in with Alice. Let's see what kind of weather.